think towards the end of my career, I had an idea that I wanted to get stay in the pro game. Um, I took the B license. The MLS players get offered in the off season every year to uh, to go right into a slightly I wouldn't say different, but a team a, a, a license class that was mostly pro players. Uh, so immediately took the B license my the year I retired. And uh, I actually, just before I got to the course, I got offered the uh, head coaching job with the Atlanta Silverbacks, which is basically this league, like a USL league, which was the second division at that time. Took the B license, came right in to uh, Atlanta in February, and, you know, come into a team that, although it was a professional team, didn't realize till I got there that it was a lot more responsibility than just running training sessions and, and coaching the game. So. It was a great experience. I had to deal with everything from making, booking the travel for the entire year, planning preseason, you know, figuring out how to pay for it, signing players, immigration. You know, it was just a great education. I, you know, and in in that respect, I think it was probably better off than being an assistant somewhere. You know, just thinking as a player, you do it automatically, but you don't think it through. As a coach, now you have to think it through, and it has to make sense, and you have to. Uh, adjust so you know that was the start and it was a uh, great experience we had a lot of success that first year we had, took a team that had won four or five games the year before and turned it around and won 15 games and I think we went into the round of 16 in the Open Cup and got beat by Kansas City uh, Wizards Wiz and uh, you know, I think we missed the playoffs by like two points and uh, but it was real exciting. It kind of kind of hooked hooked me into it. And uh, from there, I went quick stop in the winter to Chicago as an indoor coach with Frank Klopas, who I knew from the Chicago Fire days, who was a World Cup player for us and high level player and high level coach and a good friend of mine. And uh, from there, I went on to uh, L.A., where I was involved in a lot of different things: Chivas USA's uh, youth program. Uh, AC Milan Academy in, in LA, their USA branch in LA. I was general manager. And then right before I left, I was the under 18 academy coach for the LA Galaxy. So, you know, those, those are the three main coaching. Uh, and then obviously, sorry, I just did uh, assistant coach for Rio OKC and the NASL down in Oklahoma City uh, the last four months of that season, uh, just this year. So obviously one, one year as the assistant with New England Revolution. So that got me back into MLS, which was a big deal because I think it had been about 10 years since I had retired as a player. So that year with uh, the Revolution was great because I really got to go, to go to school on the league again, really gave me a chance. And I didn't have so much responsibility that I was rushing around crazy. So I had a real lot of time to sit back, you know, kind of a bird's eye view from up above and and really go to school on the league and kind of refine my thinking and my thoughts about training and managing players and being a leader as a coach and and then just game management you know how do you deal with scouting and preparation and then uh, you know the most exciting part is the managing the games you know how you uh, set your teams up how you go about the games and the adjustments and uh, uh, it was it was really the Rio OKC was a big deal too, but that was the part I think that kind of got me to where I am now as a coach, where uh, my, the way I think about the game, the way I want to coach, the way I want to play.